Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla here to talk to you today about Rizoma handlebars and accessories. You should be looking into a set of Rizoma handlebars or some of the related accoutrements for your motorcycle if you're looking to change up your ergonomic situation on your bike and perhaps also trying to bring a little bit of a visual pop to the front end of your motorcycle. Now these particular parts have been made for a wide variety of bikes, but Rizoma really concentrates on sporty and sport bikes. Um, and I would say too, they're probably going to lean towards uh, the sporty end of things, items with a handlebar. They do have some clip-ons for sport bikes, we'll talk about those in just a moment, but if you're riding, say, a late model naked, Rizoma is probably going to be right up your alley. Now installation on all of this stuff really does vary depending on what it is that you're doing, but I'd say generally speaking working on your handlebar setup is going to be anywhere from one to two beards on our beard scale of difficulty. Standard hand tools ought to get you through the job and if you're good at sort of fiddling around and making things fit together, you should be set to do this in your own garage. So before we get into the products here, let's talk about Rizoma really briefly. Rizoma is an Italian company making fine moto sexy products for motorcycles. Their products work really well and they also look fantastic. It's part of the reason that they're sort of one of the go-to names. They're the top tier among aftermarket accessories for motorcycles. So we've got a couple pieces up here. We're gonna bring into some other pieces a little bit later on in the video, but I wanna run you through a couple of the items you could pick up for your motorcycle, depending on what it is that you have. Some of these things up here will likely work for your bike. We'll start down at this end here. You can see Rizoma has a set of risers. Italian made, finely machined from aluminum. These are fantastic pieces, and they really pay attention to detail. For instance, even if you look at the top here, check out this bolt. This is even nicely machined. Everything that's going to hit your eye is made to look wonderful. Rizoma uh, places a lot of value on making sure that items have a strong visual attraction. Aside from that, these are also fantastic risers, which is also really helpful. So moving down the bench, I had mentioned those clip-ons. You can see those up here uh, in front of me. These are made for a wide variety of fork tube diameters. These are something too, for those of you who have a handlebar set up, and maybe you're trying to get a more aggressive attack position on the bike, or perhaps you've swapped the front end out on your bike, this is something you'll want to consider. A set of uh, clip-ons can really sort of get you hunkered down on the bike and really, again, get into that attack position, help you feel more in control when you're riding aggressively. Now, in front of that, of course, here we have a couple of sets of handlebars, really nicely made aluminum bars. You can see, obviously, the anodizing on here is top-notch. Note that these things are actually etched with bar positions, so you can have an easy time both centering up your bars and also sort of dialing things into the way you like them. If you do happen to change, it's easy to swap back because you have a grid there sort of to deal with that change. Um, these bars too, notice these are necked as well. They also offer necked bars. So on a lot of late model um, naked bikes, what we're seeing a lot of is seven eighths bars that neck up to one and one eighth of an inch. Um, very popular, kind of comes from the dirt and the super motard world. Again, Rizoma offers bars like that. So if you do happen to have a bike set up like that with seven eighths controls, yet larger diameter risers, you should be set to fly. Rizoma has you covered. Moving on down here, you can see we also have have some bar ends. Rizoma offers a number of really nice bar ends. Again, super cool anodizing. Couple different styles here. Anything from super noticeable to very, very subtle. Um, this is really going to be a, a taste-driven decision for a lot of people. Obviously, there's a fit component here too, but for most people, they're going to have some selection on how to finish off those bars and really present a finished looking package. Now, we've run through sort of their handlebars and some of the things that go directly with the handlebars. However, there are a couple of accessories we're going to show you next. Alrighty, you can see we've got a whole fresh batch of stuff up here. We're gonna go a little bit scattershot, but again, these are all sort of keeping in that general theme of handlebar accessory. So down here, you can see some pieces, not particularly exciting, but very important. And these are a number of adapters to run different bar ends and such on your motorcycle. Also, for those of you considering perhaps a set of bar end mirrors, this is also gonna probably help just a little bit. Make sure you check out our Rizoma mirrors video too if you're trying to put together a complete package. Down in front here, notice we have a crossbar. This is effectively to add a crossbar brace to any bar you may have without one. Now, the actual reason for these is to provide a little bit of stiffness here. That's the, that's the reason people drop these on there. However, there's also a very uh, uh, important other reason you would select one of these, and that's really for the look. Again, if you're trying to run a crossbar pad, sort of get that moto-inspired feeling on your bike, that's gonna be the piece you wanna use. Moving along here, you can see we also have lever guards, finely made, and again, this sort of adds that racy touch to your bike. Um, you're gonna see lever guards, obviously, at the highest levels of racing, and that is starting to trickle down into street 
street stuff now. It is kind of an important safety uh, you know, item if you are going to be hitting the track at all for any period of time. Moving on, you can see here we also have a set of levers. Rizoma makes really nice levers. These things are adjustable and they're micro adjustable in many cases. You can really dial your lever position in um, so that they fit your digits perfectly. Rounding things out last but probably not least is going to be grips. You can see we have a couple different styles chilling out over here. These grips are very modular. They're made to work with a lot of different types of bikes. Notice they'll also come with a couple different reels depending on the grip that you wind up getting. Again, so you can fine tune your throttle operation as well. But there's a number of things up here that are really going to help you sort of put together a complete package, which is kind of what it all comes down to. Rizoma really is top notch here because not only are you getting a set of handlebars, when there's a million handlebar companies in the world, but what Rizoma is doing is giving you sort of a wide variety of accessories to sort of put together to give you a cohesive, cogent look for your bike. If you're the type of person who's going to plan out what your bike's going to look like, Rizoma is really the way to go. They are top notch stuff. If you're on a budget, Rizoma is not for you, but this is pretty much the best of the best. Don't take my word for it, however. Check out some rider reviews. See what some folks who are running a Rizoma rig similar to what you're going to put onto your bike have to say about it. If you have any more questions that we didn't cover, or perhaps another rider didn't cover for you in their review, don't be afraid to get in touch with one of our gear geeks. 877-792-9455 will get you a very friendly gear geek by phone. Of course, you can always drop us an email to cs.revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.